Hi guys, this is JD Gravity RC. Welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you that you can connect your Spectrum DX6i to or DX6 to your PC, and then you can use it to play your liftoff simulator. Um, with the DX6i, you have the trainer port at the back here. So what you need to do, you need to connect your um, audio cable to the trainer port and then to the mic input on your PC. I believe that with the DX6 you have an audio input, uh, out, audio output, so you just connect that to the audio output. So because this one doesn't have USB, you need to download the Smart Pro Port Plus and um, then you need to make a slight adjustment to the sound settings in relation to the volume, otherwise it doesn't work. So basically what you need to do is um, turn this on, go to the sound control panel and go to recording and then go to level. So you need to adjust this uh, level to less than 100 because if it goes out to 100 you can see that it doesn't there's no solid connection, it doesn't respond to the sticks so just slide it down a little bit to maybe 90 or 83 so now you can see that it has a solid connection so what this means is that the transmitter has been recognized by the PC and now you can use it to play your simulator so let's go into liftoff and I'll sh show you that it works Okay, so when you get into the um, game screen, you need to go to option here and you need to go to controls, control presets and this one I have already preset this earlier but I'm going to show you how you can do a manual creation, create another one. So before you click on calibrate, you need to center your states. So click on calibrate and then you move the sticks around like this for several times. Okay, until this one pops up. So click next. And then you just uh, move the stick and see which channel is responding. So you can see that Joy 1 S61 is responding. So what you need to do, you need to double click on that and then move your sticks up and down, see whether it's responding correctly. So the throttle is responding correctly, so that's fine. So you click next. Now you do the yaw. So this one is responding. So you just click on that. So left is left, right is right, so that's fine. So next. Um, is the pitch stick so you click on this and just try it from back yeah that's correct so click next and then the raw so this is the correct one click on that test it left right left right so that's all done click next so on this screen you don't have to do anything, just click next again. Okay, so you need to name the presets. So I've done one previously, so what I'm going to call this is DX. I'll call it DX6. In the next, just type in DX6. And then mode is mode 2. Save. And then back. Save and exit. So now let's try this. It should work. Hopefully. Um, oh, by the way, the model you need, 
that I use for this is uh, the 200QX it doesn't really matter but um, if it doesn't work what you need to do is just create a new model but without any further adjustment it should work properly so let's try free flight okay hopefully it works yep it works I need to reset oh yeah It's a bit jerky, so what I'm going to do is I'm going, to, I'm going to see if I can uh, <coughs> adjust the uh, smart propolis volume down a bit. See whether it's, it's better. Okay. Usually if it doesn't work properly, just reset the, uh, the game and it should work. And now it's much better. So, um, it seems that this um, leaf top doesn't like doesn't seem to work properly with um, the um, model for 200QX but uh, let me try
and to choose my previous preset Anyway, um, it works. So what you need to do is just change the model to a different model. Let me try. The model select. Uh, let's try model three. Okay, it should work better now. Yeah, probably need to recalibrate. 